Welcome back to Mr. Legend Games. Right now we're playing Do I Have a Life? Well, let's see. Music super annoying. <sighs> super annoying. Just kick my feet as anything stupid to say. God, I don't the bullet. That guy's an idiot. Oh, yeah, I got two lawyers.
Yada 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 yada. Play talk. Talk to this guy.
na Get back here. You idiot, I said you had a light.
gotta make more clients happy. Jeez, we can stop loading now. I'm expand the time.
the layer with three soon and And <laughs> coffee.
There's a last day. Hmm.
Is it back when I actually should have kept the other Isovic game? So, I'm back in a second. Should I change my life? I'm going to do all the Isovic games.
Cover it. You can do it. You can walk faster than me.
Pretty easy.
Of course. Hey, what? Oh, yeah, I do. No, I haven't done it that much. Board is about to hear yeah, an important okay. case about a student's right in say? school. You can help me decide who wins the case. Listen up. Okay. It's about to start. We'll hear argument this morning in Ben versus Hamilton Middle School. First, we will hear the argument for Ben Brewer. Your Honor, uh, Ben was recently suspended from Hamilton Middle School for nothing more than coming to school wearing a t-shirt showing his favorite band, uh, Hall of Rejects. What's wrong with that? Wasn't there a rule against banned t-shirts at Ben's school? Yes, there was. But schools can't... Make rules and stop students from doing things that they have the right to do under the Constitution. The First Amendment protects Ben's right to wear the t-shirt. How? The First Amendment gives people freedom of speech, which allows them to express themselves in public. Ben has a right to wear his t-shirt because it expresses something about music. Thank you. Now we will hear the argument for Hamilton Middle School. Last year, Your Honor, the school began to have a problem with students arguing about their favorite bands. It all started when one student wore a t-shirt for a band that another student didn't like. The principal believed that the arguments would disrupt learning in the classroom or cause physical fights. Not every band t-shirt caused an argument, did it? No, but the principal had no way to know which shirts would cause problems and which wouldn't. He had to make a rule against all band shirts so that the school could do its job. Ben broke the rule, so he was asked to turn his t-shirt inside out. When he refused, the principal had to suspend him. Wait a minute. Doesn't the First Amendment freedom of speech protect Ben's right to wear his t-shirt? No. Banned t-shirts aren't the kind of speech that has protection under the First Amendment. In fact, they may not be speech at all. Also, schools can limit freedom of speech at school to protect students and help them learn. The First Amendment did not give Ben the right to wear his Hall of Rejects t-shirt. Thank you. That concludes the argument in Ben Brewer versus Hamilton Middle School. The justices will now go to the conference room to discuss this case. There you are. We need to get to work on this case. It's a tough one. The other eight justices have already decided which side they think should win. And it's a tie. Four think Ben should win, and four think the school should win. So my vote will decide the case. I need you to do some research for me. The other eight justices have split up into groups of two and gone into separate rooms to argue about issues in the case. In each room, you'll listen to the justices' arguments, show me that you understand them, and tell me which justice you think is right. Here's the catch. Each justice has a good argument, but sees things a little bit differently. So listen carefully and good luck. Use this controller to access the four conversations. It will track your points and decisions, and will allow me to follow your progress It's right here in the Bill of Rights. The First Amendment. Government can't take away people's freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, not freedom of t-shirt. The First Amendment does not protect the choices people make about what to wear. Banned t-shirts aren't just clothes. They've got pictures and symbols on them. They've got a message, man. That means they are speech. And people have the right to speak under the First Amendment. A banned t-shirt is not... Let's replay the argument.
It's right here in the Bill of Rights. The First Amendment. Government can't take away people's freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, not freedom of t-shirt. The First Amendment does not protect the choices people make about what to wear. Bad t-shirts aren't just clothes. They've got pictures and symbols on them. They've got a message, man. That means they are speech. And people have the right to speak under the First Amendment. A band t-shirt is not speech. It's just something to wear. Like a dress with flowers on it or a sweater with stripes. And stop calling me man. A band t-shirt speaks, man. I mean, Justice Sue. How? There aren't any words forming a message. You have to look beyond words. Speech can be anything as long as it communicates a message. A band t-shirt tells everyone what kind of music you think is cool. That's speech. So the First Amendment protects it. Look, I wear my favorite band t-shirt all the time, but the only thing it tells everyone is what I pulled out of my closet to wear. Just like jeans and socks. That's not speech. So the First Amendment does not protect it. What do you cool guys have to say? People's opinions about rock bands shouldn't get as much constitutional protection as opinions about the government. Why not? Look, there's different kinds of speech, right? There's cultural speech, which is about things in everyday life, like books, movies, clothes, or rock bands. And then there's political speech about the government. That's when people express opinions about the way things are run in their country, state, or even their school. So I do what that Freedom guy of speech said. includes so all kinds of opinions. Political opinions about the government and cultural opinions about, well, about the everyday stuff. The First Amendment protects both political and cultural speech. Maybe so, but it protects political speech more than cultural speech. Early Americans fought a war to get the power to change their government. They wrote the First Amendment so that people could speak up if they didn't like what the government was doing. That means political speech gets special protection. The people who wrote the First Amendment were big thinkers. There's no way they had such a narrow idea of freedom of speech. They wanted Americans to be free to express opinions about anything, including political and cultural speech. But political speech is especially important because it gives people power to change things. Look, okay. Ben would be yeah, protected point. if his speech was political protest against the school rule. But a Hall of Reject shirt is cultural speech. And that kind of speech wasn't meant to get as much protection. No way. The First Amendment is about people's freedom to decide what they want to say. Cultural speech, including Ben's shirt, gets just as much protection as any other kind of speech. And next school.
Nice. See, I like it when you're trying to challenge me. about schools. Schools. They're special places for exploring new opinions and ideas. If schools put too many limits on freedom of speech, kids won't get much of an education. I think you've got it backwards. The schools have to limit freedom of speech so that kids can get an education. If students are fighting about their t-shirts all day, nobody's going to learn anything. Allowing students to express themselves with a banned t-shirt won't lead them to fight all day. It will lead them to discuss their opinions and ideas. Debating different points of view is an important part of education. You know what's an important part of education? Reading, math, history, science. Those things are hard and students can't learn if they're allowed to chatter about their ideas on everything. If a school is forced to allow banned t-shirts, what else will they have to allow? Where will it end? What if schools can make rules against things like banned t-shirts? Where will that end? Without enough freedom of speech, schools will become silent places with students who act like... like robots. And allowing them too much freedom of speech will turn schools into zoos with students running around doing whatever they want and none of them getting a chance to learn. Banned t-shirts are just the first school. step. Schools have to be able to draw the line somewhere.
Hmm. Neat. This is just like the Tinker case we had a long time ago. We need to look at our decision in the Tinker case to help us decide this one. Exactly. In the Tinker case, if I recall, students were suspended for wearing armbands to school to protest a war. That's right. And the court said the students couldn't be suspended because they had freedom of speech rights, even at school. As long as speech doesn't cause problems in the classroom, it has to be allowed. But the case also said you can stop student speech if it does cause a problem or if it will cause a problem. Teachers like Ben's will cause a problem. Students are already arguing. If the school can't stop the arguing, it could get worse. It could get worse. But that doesn't mean that it will. The Tinker case said a school can't take away freedom of speech just because the principal is afraid of disruption. But the Tinker case says that if there is good reason to believe the speech will cause disruption, the school can take away mm. speech. In this case, the arguments are a good sign that there will be a disruption. I think the principal is just afraid. There's no evidence of a disruption here. Just a few arguments. Kids will always find something to argue about. Uh, that's not a good enough reason to ban freedom of speech. Yeah. That principal knows it better than anyone when a problem is good. He's seen the arguments that's and he knows they're heading for disruption. So, according to the Tinker case, it's the end of the line for freedom of speech with those t-shirts. <laughs> freedom of speech, end of the line. This is good. Welcome back. Let's take a look at your decisions and your performance. Great job. You understood everything so well that you've been promoted to head clerk. You may become a real justice someday. With your help, I've decided Ben wins the case. Print out the majority opinion to see how it all fits together. I'm not going to do anything else.
Well, I guess that's all. See ya.